Hi guys, had a comment from Nick Paparesta on one of my mousetrap car videos. In fact, it was the first mousetrap car video I did. He wanted to know if there was a substitute he could use for the plastic conduit that I'd use for the chassis. And the answer is yes, there's all sorts of things you could use. Um, so I'm going to do a quick video on a new mousetrap car. And I'm going to use cardboard for the chassis. Um, so, there's a mouse trap. It's one I've used before. Um, got some CDs here that I've used before with plastic bottle tops that I've used before. They get hot glued in the middle. In fact, there's one already done. So, I'll have four CDs for the wheels and eight plastic bottle tops. Drinking straw. A couple of paper clips. I'm going to use one of these, I don't know if that will focus, bamboo green flower stakes. Use one of them to extend the arm on the mouse trap. Got some bits of cardboard here. But a leftover from another project. So I'll use that for the chassis. Might be a little bit flexible so I might stick another piece underneath it to stiffen it up. Uh, some fishing line to connect the lever arm to the back axle. Oh I'll need a couple of couple of barbecue skewers as well for the axles and tools, hot glue gun, utility knife, scissors, pencil, ruler. Did I mention that drinking straw? Be using that as well anyway. That should be all the bits. First I'll cut the bit of cardboard up for the chassis. Using my ruler here, it looks like I'll get about about 14 inches of good cardboard out of this offcut. So that's the main chassis. I'll put a bit of drinking straw on one end for the axle to go through for the front. On the back end, I'll use the paper clip, or two of them. use that to attach the axle to the back and hot glue it in place. I'm not going to use that for the axle though, I'm going to use um, barbecue skewers. One that's a bit longer than that. These are just off cuts laying around on my desk. There's the paper clips in place. I'll put plenty of hot glue over them in a minute to stiffen them up. Hot glued the drinking straw to the front. So that will hold the front axle. The cardboard's fairly flexible. So I'm going to cut another strip and glue it along the bottom so it'll be a T-shape. So that should give us extra rigidity. There we go. T-shape. So that will make a nice rigid chassis. I'd better just do one of these CDs so you can see how we put them together. These have already got holes drilled in the middle because these are ones I've used before. I've pushed the barbecue skewers through the hubs so we've got the wheels in place. Next thing is to attach the lever arm extension to the lever. I'm going to use some of these cable ties. They're not particularly strong, but if I use enough of them, they should give enough strength all, all together. I'll put 
put some hot glue on there just to give it a bit more strength and to stop them moving around. I've hot glued the mouse trap on the front there. Make sure you get it the right way around, otherwise it's not going to work. That'll give us a bit of a hook to hook the line onto. Last thing we need is the fishing line. I'm just using a bit of hot glue to hold the knot tight. And we need enough to get to the other end. Put a little loop on it. Should be long enough. Time for a test run and a good opportunity to answer another question. Let's do the test run first and then I'll answer the other question. OK, I'll release this and we'll see whether it moves. Oh, it's not doing too badly. OK, we've done the five metres of kitchen. Now we'll go back to that question. Right, what was that question I was going to answer? The question was, what happens if there's not enough power to turn the back wheel? And the simple answer is to wrap something around the back axle to make it a wider diameter. That gives the string wrapped around it more leverage, so it can actually accelerate faster. It's like starting a car off in a lower gear. Right, there's our bit of cardboard with the little wooden peg in it so that I can hook the fishing line over it. So, fishing line hooked over, wind it up again, same as before. Right then, this time it'll accelerate a bit faster because it's got more leverage on the back wheel or on the back axle. You see it went much faster. So quick summary, built this car to answer a couple of questions really. One from Nick Paparesta who had looked at my first mousetrap car and wanted to know what he could use as a substitute for the plastic conduits that I've been using for the chassis. And I've demonstrated here that you can make the chassis out of virtually anything. I've just used cardboard here to strengthen it. I made it into a T-shape so that you've got the lightness of the cardboard but the rigidity with the extra piece going along the bottom there. The second question I've answered is what happens if you haven't got enough power to actually turn the wheels? And the easiest fix is to make the diameter of the back axle wider. And that gives the string in this case, or fishing line, more leverage to turn the wheels. It's a bit like changing gear in the car.